gentlemen, welcome to Revolution 2018. Here we are, mid match. Big Tony versus <laughs> SD Gamer. Was he blocking low there? Well, Carlos will use his shot to so... Oh yeah, that's true. And... Uh, he could have killed for sure. Jammer gets the hit here. Air grab. No, no charge safe for you, my son. Yeah, that's gonna work, and that will kill. Jammer's probably should have uh, looked for level 6. It's a very good option. Yes, sir. <laughs> All right, here we go. Game two, no hesitation. No hesitation. And uh, <laughs> the previous win's really not helping from the casual sets right now. Oh. <laughs> okay. okay, so this is a thing that Tony loves to do. Round start SBO. He doesn't care about wasting that meter. He just goes for it. Yeah. Oh. What? You, you, make them, you make them respect it, then you get your charge. You get going. Oh, jab. Uh, 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 straight hits here. All right, Tony gets both charges. Kickies and punchies. Okay, he's using pillow oh, oh no! Oh, wow. This could be really bad. Oh, he doesn't oh no, it drops! Squig Band being an incredibly stupid team to uh, carry, yes. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Alright, he's gonna be able to kill. Uh, it's looking like a saving. Bag. Oh, okay. I was about to say with zero and dizzy usage, but just a tiny bit there. Oh, what? That was some tricky stuff. Jump off punch. Interesting. All right. Tony gets the the charge again. Uh, has two bars, so he can't kill. Definitely needs to go nice for a block. reset. Good block from Jammer. This could be a kill if he goes into level three. I think. Yeah, he can kill. He can definitely kill. Oh, another one. That was super unoptimal. He can't kill anymore. You think so? Yeah. Probably not. Oh no. And he will kill with that brass. Tony on game point making it look easy. He's looking at me with those eyebrows if that I, only Big Tony can do. If I wasn't a commentator, I'd go up to Jammers right now and shout, do level three with Parasol. But oh, Jammers looking to change parasol. the order of his team. I like it. What are his assists? That's H Spiral and Napalm Pillar. I agree, I agree. He also changed his colors, right? Okay. I can't see anything with these glasses in terms of color. <laughs> I don't. I think the parasol is different. Maybe I'm not sure. I don't pay attention to. All right, that. Kula from What's KOF. Oh, he goes right in. Oh, not just the SBO. Yeah, now he's forced he's to out. block. Okay. All right, gets charge. the charge. No oh, the kicky. That assist has no invincibility or armor. Or nice one. Oh, that was awkward. But uh, Tony Ooh. still going ham in there. Uh, he has... Oh, good tech, good tech. Oh, okay, good one. Let's go. I want, I want him to get at least one game. Oh, no, he gets tech. Jammers gets grabbed again into H dive kick. Sorry, H shovel. Good push one. Oh, all right. All right, now we're in the corner. Uh, this combo is super unoptimal, Tony. What are you doing? Tony's giving him a chance, so I guess. Go below. Oh, That's tags into Big Ban. Oh. Is he showing up? I think he's showing up. I'm not sure how to feel about that. He's got, yeah, one more string. And he will Tiffany? be able to kill. Oh, no. Unnecessary air Unnecessary. grab, but he is indeed able to and kill. Jammer's on just down to parcel with four meters again. Let's see if he level three. That was a good time to do it. Uh, this matchup is notoriously bad for Big Ban because he's so huge. The parasol has very far reaching normals, so. There we go. Oh, gets both Let's characters. Go. Oh, snaps out. Snap? Okay. Oh, I, I respect that. I respect that. it. I think he, he thought he was closer to the corner. This stage is actually super weird because you kind of see the wall there. It always seems right. like you're closer than you actually are. Oh, let's go. You gotta watch out for the, the, the safest DHC or the level 3. It's hard to punish. It's hard to avoid, rather. Oh, oh no, he just gets and if he, oh, oh, he's he going gets, for the level 5. Oh my what god, Tony. No, 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 what a Tony. troll. Oh, oh he trying. missed it up. He's trying so hard. Oh, oh he's going to die. This is what he gets. For All right, but uh, he still has another level he 5 that he level, potentially pull yes. off. I know he's oh, going for oh, it. Oh, he just gets He just gets hit low. And he's going to go for it? No, he doesn't. Level, GG's. But at least he didn't let him get the level 5. So I, I, I think Jammers won that. Jammers, yeah. He, Jammers he kept his soul. Absolutely. You know, you lost the battle, but you won the war. Exactly.
Uh, I bet I believe it was Sun Tzu who first said that. It's unfortunate because um, after he got that hit on Squiggly and Big Ben, pretty sure he could have just done level three cancel, run up and uh, snap. You know. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. But either way. Either I, way, yeah. Uh, Big Tony's a very strong player, and it's sad that Jammers had to go up against him on uh, his first match. Yeah, man. Big Tony being Big Tony, one no of joke. the... Uh, gatekeepers. One of the gatekeepers, yeah. One of the strongest players here in this tournament. Lotus, the second best <laughs> player of Catherine in Europe, is here trying to look at me, trying to distract me from my commentator duties. That will not happen, Lotus. I am a very dedicated and serious commentator. I watch. Um, and I believe that our next match is coming up soon. Yeah, I have an idea of what it is, but let's not spoil the surprise until okay. they're on screen. Okay, we re personally requested this match. Yeah. We saw it We saw it in the brackets, and we thought, this looks interesting. Yeah, uh, in my opinion, the most interesting match in the whole tournament, it, other than any tournament that actually has me included in it. Every other tournament, you know, it's kind of like, every other match is a bit like, Whatever, who cares? It usually, it's usually kind of stacked against the first player, usually. But this is really it, balanced. It's insanely balanced. The one thing that I'm a bit scared of, I actually played both of these players. Right. My two matches so far, my two sets, lost. have been Bombad and Lex. Lex is a bit shaky, but that okay. doesn't mean he's weak. I saw Lex playing against Mr. Peck, and he was playing duo when he usually plays trio. He usually plays um, something like uh, Valentine Fortune double, but he was playing Valentine double, I think. Against Mr. Pick. <laughs> so, maybe he's gonna change. Alright, so. Yo, yo! Bomb. Bombad. Bombad. Just, can you reset the scores? Thanks. Yeah, yeah so. Here we are. The, 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 the forbidden match Lex versus Bombad. Yeah. Hmm, looking forward to it. Two Both of them Fortune are place. here looking at each other, staring each other down, oh. looking at this PS4 like, how do I plug Look, this in? I play on PC. They're both wearing cargo shorts. They're so respectable. Uh, oh my god, these boys. Mm, beautiful. Are they both wearing boots as well? I are they? Bombat, no, no Bombat's wearing sneakers. sneakers. He's Bom wearing Bombat sneakers. Bombat would wear sneakers. But, uh, All right. you see them and you know they're respectable people. And they play respectable teams also. Very, very respectable teams. Everything's respectable at double. Oh, absolutely. What a what a sad and low tier character, um, ladies and gentlemen. Do you can can, can you guess what uh, what Lex plays in Smash Four? Oh no just, no just no! Just a side the side, lowest of tiers. The lowest of tiers. Uh, Bayonetta. Just, just make sure which side is who right now. So oh, uh, Lex is Bomb Flair. Lex should be on the left and Bombad should be on the right. Right. Okay. Um, Bombad is Belgian. Right, Lex we're is just a uh, here to get some stuff set up. Lex is actually Scottish, but mm -hmm. I guess that's just UK. By the way, are you hearing me? Yes. On the headphones? Oh, yeah. Oh, because I'm not hearing you. Uh, test, Can you speak? Test, test. One, two, one, I'm two. still not hearing you. <laughs> test one, two. Check one, two. Mic check. In the building. Yeah, I, can Yo, I can't me. hear him. It's me, Big Ben Pro 69. <laughs> Oh, that's fine. That's fine. Yeah, doesn't matter. Can you hear me even with the things on? Uh, sometimes I don't completely understand you, but that's fine. I mean, you can do this. Yeah, yeah that's what I've been doing so far. Okay. Uh. Uh. <laughs> Audio is being tweaked right now. Oh, okay. oh, oh we're game. going right into I it. I don't think it's a button check. Lex just looked at me oh funny. Boy, <laughs> I don't know what you. that means. Okay, let's go. Yeah, Shuriken. Oh, oh. He is playing his trio. Yeah, both of them are playing their trios. Wow. Val gets this uh, throw. Oh, the misfortune gets grabbed. Drops the combo. That was supposed to be an overhead, I believe. Bombad doing the Bombad thing. Both of them just calling assist a lot. There's a lot of neutral going on. Right it, it's funny because they both kind of have like a, a lockdown assist and a DP assist. Wow, again. Another tick throw. And they both love calling those assists will a neutral. Will he get going? Yes, he will. Oh, oh boy. Oh. Virtual Max and Dizzy. Oh, nice. Good out. match. I think he could have reacted to counter there, actually. Uh, it's a little bit weird to react to it, actually. Sometimes it seems to fail. All right, though. Misfortune is dead. All right, and here comes Philia, the best character in this game. She's just the coolest. Oh, oh lockdown. 
No conversion, but gets the low. Has to use Gregor here to continue the combo. Will do so pleasantly. Continues the combo. Ooh, blocks that. Punish. Ooh. Oh, she's dead. Oh, here we go. We're tying it up. Oh, oh. no, he could have counter Gregor that. that. That is completely countable, though. Not as good as that. Oh. All right, Philly is dead. Oh no, she's not. She oh, she's still okay. Now she's dead. But, uh, this is the character that you can come back with. So Bombad's Bella usually comes up that like these insane comebacks out of nowhere. I'm pretty sure Bomb uh, Lex is close to touching death uh, because he can get one hit and go into oh, yeah. double level three. Ah, so uh, yeah, this this I'm, oh. oh drops the combo, or Lex. maybe he was going for an overhead. Lex is very notorious for spaghetti. The, the legendary match against Rex. Oh, nice. Okay. Uh, Has okay, nowhere to go from here, here, though. He's looking for level three right now. He should be. Lex is not calling assist yet. He's being very careful. Here it is. Oh. Wow. Yeah, and that will be a kill. Lex takes the first game. The first this game. is not what I was expecting. I was expecting Bombat to take the lead. Well, I had no idea what was going to happen, I, I I have an idea of how this would go, but we'll speak more of that as the game goes on. Okay. Here we go. No hesitation from either player. Why would you start two. with Fiber right now? Fiber and assist. And he oh. doesn't do it. Both of them playing safe. They know this is Revolution 2018. <laughs> they know that they have to play safe. I mean, you don't have to. Lex is running uh, Fibers. You don't see that very often. Oh, but it's he, he uses it really well, actually. Okay, it's a fake, fake cross-up, I guess. Could have like Adash, but then jumped uh, up on the top. And... Uh, just wait to the overhead, though. Oh, he just gets it. He can't get it out of something. He's gonna get a... Uh, no, he drops it. All the time, yes. right. Okay, good match. Lex does not have a safe DHC. So I guess he's probably on that spot. All right. Oh, oh, okay. oh no, oh, this gonna is going to whiff. whiff. Oh, okay. I, I don't know if I agree with it very much, yeah. but... uh. Fenrir would have been better there. Yeah, yeah, Fenrir would have been better there. Oh, it just doesn't convert. It's pretty hard to convert off of this guy. Well, that's safe. Oi, oi. Um, what is it? Yeah. Alright, oh, overhead. Ah! Oh, just pulling Bombad looking! Wow! Oh, really? He had time just to be confused and still counter hit. Oh, low! DK emoji. Bella's low is really good. Okay, here comes the double. Oh, this oh she yeah. gets grabbed. And now she's in the corner, about to take some punishment. DP assist. Okay. Ah. Low! She's dead! Uh, if Bombad, yeah, if Bombad chooses, so she's dead. Probably with just one bar, considering how much damage this character can do. No, I, I do not agree with that. Oh, okay. That would do. That did less damage than. Uh, um, that was punishable. Than uh, what a two level ones would have done. Going to die anyway. If Bombad does a full combo. Uh, with the assist, it's absolutely gonna. Oh no, things of spaghetti here, folks. Actually, we shouldn't be saying that. Oh. It's, it's, it's fine to drop the combos on the big stage. Getting hit. Well, this is the character that can do it. This character can mix you up disgustingly well, and you just yeah. can't do anything. Oh no, but he used the Zandizzi incorrectly, though. Oh, and the head is on the ground, so just one She's hit on is on the other side up. of the screen oh, right no, now. No, no, but she might just be dead. One mix? One mix. Show me, Lex. Where is it? Where are you going to hit him? Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. What do you want to do? All right. So the way that super works, right? Yeah? If you're... If you're too close, you can't react. But if they're like, it's like Airwolf, right? If you're f if you're far enough away, you can counter counter with something. All right. Is that how it works? Put it put it closer. Okay. All right. Game three, uh, one one on the board. Lex starting off with the lead. Already got a hit. Throw. Yeah, now where Bob are we going? Really strong. Oh, another grab! Okay. Oh, grab him! Can, I get Can we another? see a third grab? Yeah, I want another one. Oh, it's a burst wow. bait! Bombad heard me, and he was like, no, 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 no. I'm gonna tech that I grab, and then he got burst. I'm so amazed at the jump hard kick after the burst bait just whiffed, and he didn't get hit. That is some, that is some baloney right there, and honestly. You're, you're dead, Bombad. I'm sorry. Misfortune's dead. Here comes Philia with three bars. Yeah. And a safe DHC because she can safe DHC into oh Bella. Oh yeah, and that's gonna hurt against an assist. Oh, you know. Oh. Wow. Conversion. Okay. 
Hey, Lex has been very brave. He's been with these, this, this is super unsafe at some point. Oh wow. my god, that's standing heavy punch. No conversion though. No conversion from this ringlet either. I, yeah, you oh, he has two characters? Oh, snap. snap? Just snap. Okay. Go. What is, oh. what is, okay, okay. <laughs> I was scared. He's getting really hey, good hey. value for his meter right now. Oh no! He's doing, can do major damage to the head right now. Aye, 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 aye. Oh god! Oh. oh! Oh! Don't drop it! Oh, uh, he, no, dropped he dropped the bell out. out. He already used OTG on oh, her. Oh, good jab. Whoa. Just jab out of that. Just jab? Yep. So oh, no. Oh, Lex. Oh, he got both characters. Oh, he got it. Oh, don't drop it now. Kill. Oh, nice. Just do he your got regular it. One. Wow. Very well done, Lex, on match point. Look at him. Lex is Swipes really. Wipes the sweat out of his hands, stretches himself out, really and presses play again. Beautiful. What a god. <laughs> All right, here we go. Oh, another grab. Wow. It seems like all these rounds either start with an air grab or a ground grab. I don't know why Bombad is City. starting with assist and uh, fiber. Oh, let me get some stuff. Good right. double okay, jump out of that. Okay, DP assist okay, conversion. Let's go. Bombad needs some serious mix here. I don't think Bombad has mixed him with an overhead or a low once. Oh, Very the nice. Burst bait. Nice. Not a hard counter hit, but that's Doesn't gonna matter kill though, anyway. This is gonna kill. Yeah. If he spends the meter, unfortunately. Oh, oh he drops no, it. Drops. He was mashing it. Will go into fortune. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, he goes into fortune. Throws the head. No, I guess I I'm would not super around. right now. Okay. All right, here comes Philia with three bars. Deja vu. I want to see Bomba disrespect more. I think I think Bomba. Oh, ah, that was probably that, a Gregor. That gets me actually every time. Oh, here comes Gregor. Level nice. Oh, okay. No, I wouldn't do that. That's a conversion. Oh, the conversion. Um, I wouldn't be calling Philia right now with the health shoes on. You want to save her for a DFC, but that's an interesting conversion. But he could have done something other than jump hard punch there and converted. Oh, nice elbow. And I am expecting. Wow, he ran up stun power hard punch. Interesting. And um, nice oh, job, gets the hit. Let's the go. Overhead. He's turned it up. He's the leader now, leading in HP. And what are we going to see? First play. Very nice. Okay. Uh, yeah. Sees this coming, but this is safe. That is safe. That's pretty safe. I'm, I'm pretty sure he could have re reflected. Oh, oh no. no. Oh, A bad God. DP call. Philia should die. Yeah, she's dead even if he dropped the combo. No conversion from that stray I launcher. Something about that. Uh, it's looking That's very grim uh, for Bombad right now. One more mix and he will be dead. Or he can just do a full combo and sit No, I don't think that will kill. I know, but it would give you an advantage at least. Um, but one level three. Uh, yeah, he should be dead. Like, but don't count on Lex to finish his combo. Lex, do not drop this combo. Lex, hear me, young man. Okay, he got it. Lex. He got it. Lex. Yeah, he got it. Lex. All right, Lex. Very well played. Well Good done. Good job, finger guns, Lex. Well done. Lex was telling me before, if he wins one game and I lose mine and then win one game, we play against each other. Okay. So he's completing the first part of this prophecy of Lex versus Ravioli. Incredible. Oh, but and they're hugging it out. Either way, very well played from both very players. Very respectable players. Beautiful. Even though I should have, I would have liked Bombard to disrespect a bit more in, in that. You know, do more I, supers I on wake up and. I think Lex was feeling more comfortable somehow. For it some seemed, reason. It really seemed like it. Like, Bombad wasn't at 100%. If the, if it was 100%, that would be closer, I think. Not warmed up. Oh, boy. Are we is this. commentating this as well, or are we. Sinclair? Oh, we may be switching out because I have a match. Did Sinclair beat Rex? Sinclair beat Rex, apparently, because she's up against Mr. Peck right now, and are oh we. Oh, my God. Are we commentating this? I thought we were only commentating two matches. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Alright, ladies and gentlemen, this was Ravioli and Big Band Pro 69. Big Band Pro 69, I hope to see you in turn, young man. Shake my hand. I'm older than you. <laughs> <laughs> and I I'll see you guys we'll later. I Goodbye. hope you enjoyed the match. We, we need a commentator right now.
Hello and welcome. This is Big Tony. Are we are we all good? Lovely. Yeah, we are good. Up and running. Setting the buttons. All right. Can, I can't hear myself. Is that is that supposed to be happening? I can hear you. Oh, you can hear us. Yeah. Okay. Cool. I Sorry. I, I couldn't hear yeah. myself. Yeah, I can hear myself. All right, schoolgirls. Are we Indeed. up? Indeed. We're about to see Sinclair versus wow. Mr. Pack. Yes. UK, one of UK's best. Uh, I, I don't think Wolfley's in the venue. No. Uh, do, do we have, uh, uh, what's his name? Alex? Alex, yeah. Uh, the big band, uh, big band Pro 69. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yes, yeah. Alex is here as well. Uh, did he, he won last year. Was, yeah. or was that Wolfley? I can't remember who won it. Uh, is Wolfley actually, Alex grand final? Actually, Mr. Peck. It was Mr. Peck that won. Mr. Peck against Alex. Alex, grand final, that was it. Yeah. That was it. And now, but the spotlight is all about Sinclair because it's her first offline event that she's coming and uh, we're about to see some Eliza double really oh, okay so we've got Eliza player uh, uh, all right and Mr. Peck has he's finally stuck with the team because I know Mr. Peck yes. has a problem of he you play Peacock and Robo Fortune yes. and he doesn't know who to add to that but yes. it looks like he's stuck. he was soul searching for the third for character the longest time he found parasol pillar assist will be a key factor in this matchup and there you go I, yeah I, I like this team like I, I like said team. like I said and the thing is, it's all about a question of how uh, Eliza can get past uh, Peacock zoning because this is actually a bad matchup for Eliza. She has one way in with Crouching Hard Kick, but uh, Mr. Peck is already off to a good start here. And uh, Crouching Hard Kick is good. Oh, the oh, burst bait! Oh, oh, and nice. he's going to go to August Agony. And he's going to delete okay. Sinclair's first character or maybe... Go for a setup? Yeah. Okay, right. super jump. Back off in zoning, yeah. yeah. If, you got, if you can't get past Mr. Peck's Robo and Peacock, I think you kind of lost the match. Now it's double turn or oh, pillar assist. Is here ready in action? He's got two heads out. He's gonna play a key factor if she gets too close. Yeah, this is the ultimate zoning right now here for Mr. Flash tapping her way in or oh, full combo. Yeah, it's gonna be a full combo. I think he's gonna be dead. Yeah. He's got two bars here ready. Yeah. Proper combo, BNP. Light light the full chain. Yep. The into drill catastrophe cannon. Yes. Yeah. And that is game one into pillar. Sixty nine heads. That's lovely. <laughs> We're gonna see. <laughs> it's gonna. It's I mean, that's that was a pretty one-sided first game yeah, there from Mr. Peck. Super one-sided match. But here's the problem. Eliza's my favorite character in the game. I love watching Eliza yeah. play. But like I said, due to the matchup, Peacock just downright beats oh. Eliza like eight-two. Okay, but now she's up close. Push blocks. Tries to air throw. No air throws attempt. Like, oh, the overhead. Like since. Peacock gets to do ov instant air dash, yeah. mix ups, she even gets to do over. But here's the cartouche. Oh, there's the conversion. Okay, back to the uppercut. Goes for again for the cartouche. Actually, Sekhmet is the best bet if you need to go through Peacock zoning. But you, you're, oh, losing, there you go. you're losing meter while trying to get in, and ultimately, Mr. Peck is some of the best defense I've seen in the Skullgirls community, so Absolutely. you're going to have to take a risk to get in. It looks like she's but, in right now. But she got back in the corner. Oh, she's not attacking. Pa she's trying to wait Patience. for Patience. Oh, the overhead. And that is going to do dual damage. Look All at right. this. Sinclair. Oh, oh goes, goes for the, the reset. Throw. I think she can kill off this. She yes. keeps the combo nice and simple. Just spend the two bars. She might Burn the meter. Ready. There you go. Lady Into of Lady of Slaughter. Oh, oh that barely reached. Like the... It's the got a good hitbox. It's yeah, got yeah, a really yeah. good hitbox, Lady of Slaughter, so... Okay. Ooh, oh, nice good block on the cross up with a 50-50 there from Mr. Peck. Sinclair is ready. She she's here with the incomings. She really did a great oh job. Oh no, Magnet, Magnet. field. All right, into conversion. There you go. That's it. Yeah, that's gonna be it for Eliza again. Double gonna set up. The double has two bars. She can still slide into Cathead if she needs to. Okay, dash block, nice. At this point, she's going to need to like oh, throw nice. in the kitchen sink. Gets the full combo into the city, a slide. Doesn't respect the bike. Oh, good oh. reset. Really good Double reset. Double going in, drops the combo. Don't oh. do this to me. That was a big chance okay. for her right there. Okay. Oh, she tried to flash tap, but she got hit by Parasol. Yeah, perfect. That is 2-0. She's, she's adapting. She's adapting, and I, I respect how fast she adapted that next game, but it's clear, it's evidently clear that she needs to take a big risk to get in. And yes. like I said, I've said this time and time again about Mr. Peck. Also he's one of the best, but if you get past his peacock, you have a very good chance of yes, winning the game. Yes, exactly. 
So, and this is one of those situations where experience in tournaments comes to play. Yes. Because Mr. Peck has no fear to play in, uh, in tournaments at all. You oh, can see what that. What a brilliant reset there from Mr. Peck. He's going for the classic 50-50s and Nice. Oh, good, lovely conversion. I think it's in her best interest here. Ooh, oh, no, the reset sexy. backfired. It really backfired. I yeah. thought she was going to do a full combo and spend but the two bars. Sekhmet is going to get deleted. Uh, you can't get a happy birthday from this and here. And she Mr. got Perk, double so. damage. All right, All right, yeah, full zoning here. And double's a huge character, so this is going to be pretty hard, but gets oh, the gets ground. The throw. Flash that conversion. All right, try to go for, for a the reset. And, and there go the pillar. Oh, but drops it. Let's give full credit to Mr. Peck's defense. He's some of the best defense I've seen you, in Skull you, So How can you touch him? You have to grab him. He's susceptible to throws. Yeah. I, I've known oh. this for years now. Yeah. <laughs> you, All right, you, full combo. You know much better than me. I, I, I'm a relatively new guy. Oh, but wait, wait, wait. Is that? Yeah. yeah. Okay. And that's it. 3 0 for Mr. Peck. Sinclair doing a really good job as his first entrance. This is pretty impressive to me. Do you know what? I, I think Mr. Peck is a really good uh, example and uh, to determine how well you know Skogas as a game and exactly. how well can you handle the zoning archetype. Yeah. Because that's, that's all Mr. Peck wants to do. High school exam is Mr. Peck. Do you know what? It's like literally Mr. Peck, all he wants to do is he wants to put objects on the screen and make it hard for you to circumvent them to get to him. One, and then he's it worked on his defense. So he says, what if it does happen? Yeah. What if you get past my zoning and yes. you come in? He's learned to defend overheads. He's learned to defend lows. He's even, I remember he done a video and he spoke about him trapping himself in the corner and practicing yes, against exactly. all the characters' offense. Exactly. So he's done a lot of interesting things to improve yes. his defense. Now we should be, should we get a match running? Oh, I see Bombard in here. Okay, no, never mind. Yeah. So it's been, so far it's going great. We're, we, we're seeing many character variety because uh, in the last few tournaments that we had, uh, we kind of get stuck to the same characters. But, but people want to win. But since, but since we have uh, new players and also old players are trying new teams. Yeah. Like this is my, uh, I started playing big band only this year and this year I'm getting actually results. So That's if, good. even though big band is not an uncommon character because everyone in Europe plays Big Ben. Yeah, there's only like 14 characters in the game, so everyone should like really understand how the game and the characters work yes, now. Yes, exactly. Um, but yeah, we are here at Revolution 2018. 2018. Myself, Jammers and Big Tony and Big on Tony. the mic. Who have we got up next, Big Tony? Talk we to me. We are about to see. We have you and you and the Bombad. Okay, yeah. uh, I'm I'm familiar with both their names. So uh, would you like to enlighten me on which characters they play? Okay, so Bombad plays. The most vanilla-like team ever. He plays. I'm guessing uh, Valentine's on there. No, he plays Fortune, okay. Filia, Bella. Okay, so that is the most vanilla team. It, it's one of the most, and but it's not only that. The way he plays it, he really plays the da, the good old dash block into call assist okay. way. He he has a really exceptional set play uh, assist play. And uh, you is one of is one of the newest entries. He will go with solo fortune. So solo we, fortune. We okay. will have no DLC characters. This will be like good all old the days. originals, straight vanilla. Um, I, I've noticed in recent tournaments I've seen when I, I I'm able to catch footage of Skogos, a lot of people have gone to the solo route now. Yeah. I don't know if that's just a, a trend N now no, no. or no no. It's been a thing. Uh, in uh, in America, it's been like for much longer that they've been um, doing solos because the meta knowledge. Okay. But here in Europe as well, uh, actually, I went uh, uh, last year solo squiggly in top eight, uh, which was uh, really ballsy by my part. But it and actually it worked. Gives you the damage. Uh, yeah, the solo. If you, it really comes down to how do you gonna get the hit and how much you will be good at defense okay that's so uh, yeah that's pretty interesting uh, key points there that big tony made i mean I, when i first played this game i started out with solo eliza and then i realized i wasn't oh, yeah. i wasn't really playing the game because i had no assists i do it on my own and then i just but, went but, to parasol but 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 you were playing the 
We've got Solo Fortune going up against uh, Fortune, Cerebella, Pact Fortune, Fortune and yeah. Felia. Uh, and the thing and is, this will be a clear match where you will see the Solo versus Trio. Uh, yeah, look, if if he gets hit, if the Trio team gets hit, he's pretty much dead. It's going to do massive damage, but there you go. Having having a wider arsenal is going to play a key factor. I think it's better than just having that Solo damage because you can really mix up and confuse your opponent. Yes, exactly. That's exactly what's happening here at the moment. It's doing little damage. Good burst. Way. That's a free hit burst. It's actually really tempting to press. You're yeah. like, okay. Oh, gets the overhead. And that's it. All he needs to do is get like maybe two more resets. Try to go good okay. up back Jumps there. Out. Yeah. And he's going to do five uppercut as well to okay. get out. You playing pressure. Ooh, he tried to dash on there. It was really fast. But so we've got okay. to set up the head. It's going to be some decent damage here. We're going to see some headless. Ooh, the level three. Look at the damage. Fifth Boom. of this member. That was Really cleanly explain to everyone how you should be playing with cop there and up there. Like lockdown for. Well, look, it's, it's, it's a traditional uh, format or yes. formation for this team. It's yes. like look, one assist for pressure really and the other one should just get off me. And up to up to a really good reverse. Oh yeah, I get up to those times. So. Oh, but this this hidden time. This time, okay. They're jumping around. Really hard to follow. Okay. Right. Bombard got the conversion. Good, Good block, block. On, on the overhead. And that's it. You have to be ready. You have to make a decision. Every time you get hit, you have to make a decision on how you're going to block. You're going to up yes. back, you're going to yes. crouch block, you're going to tech. You always have to make the decision there. You can also stand guard, but yes. it's really not likely to happen. Like, I see really few people actually stand block because of the chicken block power is so good. In All right. Five uppercut out of the corner here, but again. Just be, uh, he's just been pressured by this trio yeah. because every time he get he gets off, he wants to go back in, but the assists are stopping him. Yeah, he's such a complete, such a complete formation. Ooh. Oh, that was a lovely air dash under gets the press under as well. Okay. All right, yeah. the dizzy undizzy gauge is full, so you've got to be careful. Okay, he tries to jab out. Ooh, the fiber got filled. Yeah. Did some damage, not too much, but some damage. Oh, he no caught him tech. He's gonna take forty percent again. I don't know. That's that's the only thing he's able to successfully yes. land. He hasn't been able to do anything else. He gets clipped by Seracopter again. Yeah. That's not really effective. Like he's burning the meter. He's got four bars, I think he's dead. Oh, and oh, the first the bait. Okay. Luckily he didn't get punished. Now he is. He's gonna be level one. Give me five life. bars. Give me five bar combo. Three. I'm gonna need it. Alright. Trust really? me, this is not <laughs> It's this just, is not easy. <laughs> yeah. It's not easy, but he's just at a, a numbers disadvantage. That's it. Yeah. I, he's I, thinking. He's thinking. Oh, no. Never mind. Because he you, seems more you, than capable. You're okay. looking at me. Don't look at me. Look at the game. Come on. Concentrate. you got to focus. It's also his first time joining an offline event. So. Okay. So it's solo tournament nerds. Solo. Yeah. You, you, okay, you, I get it, I get you've it. been there. I've been oh, there. We've all been there. Yeah. It's and this uh, is it, his opponent can play off that fear. So Yes, exactly. And he's so been successfully doing it. Yeah, he's getting thrown. He's, every reset that he's been working out really well. Yeah, yeah you I see. It's another overhead here. This is the thing. On your own, your defensive oh. options are very limited. Your okay. opponent kind of knows oh, what you're going to do. He got the fiber uppercut, but he failed his conversion. I think it's not the proper route, actually. He's getting some breathe. Okay. Oh, okay. up to it again, oh, and he gets sweep. the crouching hard kick. Come on. Get something here now. Okay, push not. block into. Oh, he got hit. He's got four bars again. I reckon he can just spend this meter. He's gonna do it right now. Full chain. Oh, drops it. Up to oh. his by. He, get no, he oh, got no God. one. Wow, Philia got it deleted. Yeah, <laughs> it's done. Oh, oh it's done. Go. Yeah. And that is free. Oh. That was unfortunate. That was unfortunate. Okay, hand by you. He's, he's enjoy anyway. He's having fun. Look, that's what it's all about. It's just that, that, enjoying it. Yeah, that's the spirit. That's how you will keep playing and progress through not only Skullgirls, but every game you win. Yeah, of course. You I mean, try. like you said, it was his first time. Uh, just the tournament nerves. Because he looks like he's more than capable of playing the game. Hence why he's gone with that solo pick. Yeah. And, and sometimes it's easier to learn Skullgirls via a solo character. That That's what I always recommend when he, people hit ask me, how should I play? Because 
are, uh, the character select screen seems the hardest thing yeah, to do. Yeah, yeah, it's like, intimidating. So a lot of play starts from there, from the character select. And there, you should just find the character that you like the most. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> try with that one and learn the game by one character at a time. Don't get, don't overwhelm yourself. Yeah. But by having too much tools. Because sometimes the team, the team factor of these games can be intimidating. It's like, oh, I have to learn three characters at once. Can't at do once. it. But Skullgirls, it has that luxury of la allowing you to pick one v one. One v one. You can adjust the assist yeah, to what you deserve. I, you just, you learn. I think you learn the game better by starting out with one character, then one branching character out. At a time, and then yeah, you will you will not end up playing all the characters without even noticing. All right. So next we've got uh, we got Waranoi. Talk to me. Who we got? We got Waranoi against uh, Alex. I think. I think that's Alex, Alex yeah. as known as Big Ben Pro 69. Another I solo. Okay. Waranoi so is the new era of solo squiggly. Yeah, so is he gonna do button check? I think I I played this guy, the squiggly player earlier. Yes, uh, he's done a quick first two because he has to check his uh, blast blue brackets here at Revolution mm -hmm. 2018, and he's he's similar to you, but I definitely forgot how to fight squiggly. So yeah, that's, that's my own fault. <laughs> like, the, uh, I was like uh, at the end of uh, at the beginning of the third match, I was like when I when I saw you go to. Parasol select screen. I was like, I will do battle opera around the start, and he has no <laughs> idea what to do against it. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Dear. No, look, you're here to win, and I mean, you need to uh, talk to me. So, how does the Squiggly Beowulf matchup go? Is it okay. in Squiggly's favor? Yes, as long as um, as long as Beowulf uh, re respects Squiggly's option. Oh, oh there you go, command throw, and this is this might be over already. Uh, Squiggly is in the corner. Uh, uh, she's about to get mixed up really hard by Beowulf Big Ben, which is arguably... Oh, oh the DP! Lovely uppercut there. And I mean, he's got to capitalize on these moments. And Alex has to be cognizant of that. He can't go two hands. Yeah. Oh, wow. The one reset, one reset and he's done. Optimal combo. Oh. Wait, 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 wait. Look wait. at this. One more chain. No, he could do level one. He oh. could have done level one. But I think he, he could have done level one. Yeah, he, felt he forgot which button he pressed in his route. And he, now he's going to get mixed up. In the meantime, Beowulf is recovering. Oh, health gets slowly. the low. That's one reset here. He's got two bars. He's about to amount to three. I wonder. I wonder if this will do the trick. Man. Oh, he tried to level three on the other side to get Super maximum damage. Jazz. And, and that's going to be safe. Into Airwolf. Yeah, it's gonna really be hard to punish, especially you can't punish it. you got to punish it on the way up. Yes. It's, and it's, that's not easy to do. Okay, but Beowulf is down. and He can still do this. Yeah, he can still do this. Oh, he went for the side switch silver card. That was really ballsy. Okay, Simbas. This is a really hard matchup for Big Ben Ogan. I can see. It. Okay, so now, oh, the crouching leg kick doesn't get the conversion. Okay, oh, really good, good patient, yeah. but he... Really oh, he got him with the zero frame trap door! Okay, yes. here we go. Please. You have to be holding up prior to that, otherwise you're going to get please, caught full combo here. Please recover your HP. Uh, you either have to kill... Yeah, yeah he's going to do it. Good choice. And, and into the burst bait, which is really nice. That's my stuff. I used to do that. That's good. Yeah, yeah but that, that crouching hard punch burst bait from Squiggly, it's like you have no reason to burst there, but uh, I, can, I can see why. Uh, if you burst, you will get hit. Like by the, uh, the rest, rest of the flames or something else. The, okay, so the flames are a disjointed hitbox. Yeah. So you will avoid the burst bait. So Squiggly is gonna punish you. She'll punish you regardless. Yeah. But I'm I'm saying in that situation there there should be no reason to burst it because Squiggly is too yeah, far yeah, away yeah, from yeah. you anyway. So. Yeah. But again, he would have um, he would have wait for the flames to end to run up to do sing into Daisy Pusher again. Ah. Okay. So oh, there you go. That like blitzer in this matchup is a key factor. Talk to me. And uh, because it's a frame, it's a built-in oh, frame. Oh yes, Airwolf, great escape. Sorry. Great escape. That yeah. was a brilliant escape there from Alex. Oh, the liver mortis to have strike invincible, but he's gonna get. Okay, he got the crushing left kick. Alright, he's gonna do silver cord, get a reset, good. stays standing. Oh, good wow. choice there, defense from Alex. He's gonna get a good starter here. So okay. to the corner. He's gonna get. Big Ben conversion, look at this, this is 
also optimal because for the meaty low. I know she's gone with the uh, brass knuckles assist as well as you did. Yes, okay. brass knuckle is so good for just general abuse and it gives everything but the, the sweet sugar that Big yeah. Bang gives you. I mean, look, Big Bang's assist are actually brilliant. Oh, he gets the level, the level three. three. He's, he's not dead. He's not dead. Ah. Uh, uh, he's going to the whole thing. Can he side switch? Yes, he can. Big. Damn, and that, 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 that is that. Hold that. He's done a Grendel killer on him. That was brilliant. All right, there we this go. This is optimal. I, I, he doesn't want to meet. He doesn't want to meet. Into. Is that going to do it? Yeah. Yes. Wow. Oh, my God. And the Blitzer to celebrate. 1-1. One, right. one. And this is the thing. Remember, Skullgo's combos are really long. So you have to be vigilant towards any point of your opponent stopping oh, yeah. the combo. Like, it's so, it's so scary to get hit once. It Espe is, man. Especially from Beowulf, Big Ben, they pack. Uh, yeah. They do so much damage. It's yeah, insane. They're... Waifu is taking his time. He's really focusing because he he is like he doesn't have. Uh, he has just just solo quickly. Screen. He can't do anything you, else. Okay. It's really a a choice by heart. Yeah. Okay. So okay, backdash, run, start. That is good. Do not get punished, but there you go, brass knuckles. Oh, doesn't make it safe. Didn't want to spend the bar. He gets right, the taunt yeah. mid combo, but he drops it. Gets the hit anyway. That's good. It's, it's still good. All right. Pull that brass down. knuckles anyway, just in case. I like when he calls brass knuckles, just in case he drops the combo. Yes. So he still has to block, and it is an armored hit. Yeah, so he, yeah, he has to respect it. Oh, jumps away from the wolf ship, but it gets hit by the oh, gigantic arm straight to the corner. And oh, this is the, the pickup. Okay. That seems pretty hard to do. Yeah, it is. It's a tight timing, especially on Squiggly, which has a. Which she's is, smaller. Yeah, she's, she's smaller like, and uh, she's light, lighter light as well. Character. Oh, he's got it. Into yeah, Sonic he's Jazz. done. Supersonic Jazz done. Big Ben Pro 69 actually bringing Big Ben for the first time in the match. What a rebuttal there. And that was a very swift that, third game. Th this is a yellow perfect. He never got it once. It's really hard for. See, the thing is. Squiggly player, sorry, I forgot his name. Uh, uh, Warnai. Warnai? Yeah. Yeah, he hit rematch very quickly. Yeah. So, no time to think. He just gone straight back in. So, hopefully, he doesn't get flustered by that last game. I think he pressed ready. He, he pressed early because he knows what he's doing wrong, but it's not been working out, apparently. I don't know. I don't okay. Know. Also, Beowulf is. With Beowulf, Okizeme is really strong. Like, Beowulf That's is. one of the best in the game. Yes, exactly. I, I feel, anyway. Yeah. I mean, he's the character that capitalizes on Oki the most, but oh, every character can do it. Push block into Gigantic Arm, then Supersonic Jans DHC, and he gets the, the, the overhead. Okay. Oh, yeah. no. Train. This, is, oh. this is not over yet. Into on, oh. No. Okay. No. Okay. That was last hope. Okay. Do you know what? I like how Big Ben 69, he brings out the hard tag from Beowulf at the very last second because it wasn't it a combo it wasn't yeah. a combo it wasn't it, it's a side switch so yeah. if you don't remember how it works beowulf comes from behind you and he'll smack with the chair does he get a combo from it? i can't remember does uh, it wall bounce he gets a combo uh or just only away only in the corner right, right, right or you can you can only spend uh, you can only do tag into gentic arm and only if you have a dhc so it's really expensive it's like finicky so yeah. but he pulled it out literally when uh, one i had no health left yeah. So it, that seems super fine to me. Yeah, um, absolutely. I yeah. mean, if you need to finish someone off, you you, you do. Catch it by surprise? Yeah. It works. Yeah, it works. It works. That's part of the game. All right. right so, now, yeah, he takes it 3-1 uh, over one nice solo squiggly. It, it, it seems the solo characters haven't had much success today. Yeah, um, they, they didn't got their time to shine yet. They will get this right. And like I said, recently when I've catched footage of uh, Skullgirls, I've seen a lot of people playing solo characters. So, uh, again, maybe people just like the damage yeah. output. They're finding it fun. Yes. So. Yeah. All right. So who have we got coming up next? I see Sanji against three. me. So oh, okay. wish me luck and uh, see you later. Cool. All right. So Big Tony is going to jump off. He's going to play some games. And then I'm going to have Alex jump on board off his fresh win so he can educate me and that's a nice stick by the way but yeah guys welcome to revolution 2018 myself jammers we will be rotating commentary uh, i'm just here to fill in for some people on Skullgirls. uh i'm not sure how many people entered the tournament i played i want to play this game for fun because it is fun 
What's up, Jammers? Are you all good? Uh, yeah, just three one. Match, as you can see, yeah. That was good adaptation, by the way. Thank you. It was really good adaptation. We, we play each other so much. It's uh, it's pretty layered our gameplay. Okay. That's the great thing about this community. Yeah, they look. All of you like to play the game. You can have fun regardless, and whether it's a casual match or a tournament match, it's like, look, let's just play. Let's play some games. Yeah, man. So everyone plays at each other a lot. So everyone knows how each other plays. So we get a lot of, you know, big reads and good Okay. Play. Well, yeah, you can have those bold, audacious reads. And some of them will pay off, some of them won't. I like the fact that you called uh, the hard tag with Beowulf at the last minute. Yeah. Because I totally forgot it comes from behind yeah, you. Yeah, man. I thought it was going to kill, but... Wait, did it kill? No, I no. had to blitz You had to get end. another yeah. hit, yeah. Because I haven't played this game in so long. Man. But when I do jump on the game, I'm like, I remember how fun it was to play this game. Um, but uh, yeah, how are you, you finding the tournament so far? Uh, pretty good. I got a pretty nice run of matches so far. Okay. Um, we'll see how it goes. I won't say anything. I don't want to jinx it. You, you, you looking to win it again? I uh, hope so, mate. Well, you got a good team. High damage output, Abs armor, command grabs, anti-air grabs. Oh, yeah. I mean, a lot. Wh what's there not to like? Uh, it seems that Big Tony's looking for something. Uh, I'm not sure what he's looking for. And he's got, do you know what? I just realized what was on his top. Squiggly's Dragon Punch. Oh, yeah. Wow, he loves that move. It's basically Ken's DP. It is. Uh, I think that DP is better than some of the Street Fighter DPs, to be honest with you. It's pretty nice. And she can cancel it into Spruce Super to make it safe. What a game. That's Skullgirls, baby. You, you can have safe DPs. Yeah. What a luxury to have. Because all the games I play uh, nowadays, you've got to spend meter to be safe. And Skullgirls reminds me of how much luxury you have yeah. of doing things meterless. Or oh, one bar. I mean... Yeah, it's a wacky game and what you can do compared to other games, absolutely. But that's what makes it fun. Oh, yeah. And I like the system as well. It's, it's Marvel, baby. Marvel with... Shouts to Mike Z. Oh, yeah. Shout outs. Shout we always have watching. to shout. It's the, it's the compliment, mandatory shout outs to Mike Z. Oh, okay. All right, so it looks like Big Tony's found what he was looking for. Yeah, and he's, uh, up, he's up against Sanji, so... Okay, so talk to me about uh, Sanji. What's he like? Sanji is a master of chaos. He, I like that. He's always calling assists. He's always doing something. And so he's, he's an active player on yeah, like you, defense you, and offense. He's got to do something. You're not going to see jump back nothing on round start. You're going to see assist and something. You don't know what it's going to be. Okay, so are you saying he's a kind of unconventional, eccentric Absolutely. player? Absolutely. Everyone, everyone has realized by now he's a, an enigma. And we, right. we are absolutely in awe of him. So... It's interesting that uh, Alex mentioned that because it's a thing where I've said this on commentary before for another game. If you're going up against an unconventional player, good luck. Yes. Because you you memorize and map out your sequences, but then he's always one step ahead of you. But it's like he doesn't know what he's doing. He's doing weird. Yeah. He, he's he's this guy will mash forward and back to block cross ups. He will mash forward and back. Do that's you, not even a chicken block. Yeah, that's I know. just that's. He, he mashes all kinds of buttons when he's getting hit. You, you just don't know, man. I mean, that, that makes you scared and make you second guess your offense. I mean. Uh, also, another important thing is he has a lot of safety HCs. So you're going to see him I super. can see it. Yeah, he's got Lenny. He's got, uh, uh, what's wolf. it called? Beast of Gehenna? The puddle? Yeah, or yeah. pet heads. Yeah, and uh, a cat heads as well. So I can see why. He usually always has it on, on deck. Like if he has double or Beowulf you're going to have a good safety HC into the next character. That's interesting. I can see why a lot of people can be bewildered by his playstyle. And I think this team accentuates that really well. It's it's something. Look, watch, he's going to go nuts. All right, so he's put oh, double. He, just <laughs> <laughs> he completely did what I didn't think he was going to do. Well, he's got Peacock using George's day out. I'm not sure what assist he picked for Beowulf, but he is going up against Big Tony's Squiggly and Big Brand. You're going to see if he sets it up. Okay. So yeah, he's actually respecting Grass Assist a lot, and he tags into Beowulf. And this is where he's going to throw the chair. All right, jumps with the Brass Knuckles, throws the chair, good stuff. So is Squiggly Beowulf uh, a good matchup for Beowulf? Um, it's even, in my opinion. Okay. I think he really controls the neutral well, but you see Big Tony has that huge Grass Assist, which changes everything. Yeah, of course. That's what assists do in these kind of games. He gets yeah. a throw here, and that's going to be Beowulf out of the building. And you would have normally seen Sanji save the HC by now, but okay. It's because Big Tony hasn't given him the chance, that's why. All right. Yeah, that brass assist can give you trouble. I guess Agony, yeah, he's going to throw everything. George's day out. Really good against Big Brass assist. 
We'll just jump in there, maintaining that space. I love Tony's swing control, by the way, with his yeah. team. It's really good. I mean, Squiggly already does it really well, and then you have Grass. Like I mean, she can empty cancel, man. There you go. Pretty good. All right. Just catches him. Doing SPO gets the juggle. All right, Silver Core. It's looking like curtains here. I wonder if he's going to do an overhead. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> Sanji is not good at comebacks. I'll say that for right now. Is that something you've, you've seen about him for a while? So yeah. he needs to get the first hit to really start going. If he's not playing Peacock, it's uh, it's pretty it's unlikely. That's all I'm going to say. Okay, gets the burst. That was the IPS burst. But Tony is... Tony will call assist a lot. Yeah, I mean, the thing with Tony is it looks like because this squiggly is so good on point, it's just Big Band backing her up. Yeah. He, he hasn't really had the need to bring in and use Big Band, so he's more than happy. And he said he's good at identifying how his opponents deal with the round start. He's probably going to call him Brass Knuckles immediately into yeah, it. Nice car, nice car. Oh, good. That will, will, will be both. That was a really good answer. And now we've got a chargeless, meterless squiggly, and he gets a hit. And now he's going to set up some really disgusting mix ups. Double, some cross up stuff. Did he cross under? Yes, he did. He got I the counter hit, but he didn't believe in the follow up. SPO again. I think Tony was mashing an air button on the way down. He must have been. Center stage got beaten. All right, there's uh, SPO. Pressure. Nice push block. Nice push block again. A double can H Luger. Oh, there's the tag. And he's. <laughs> a long sequence of blitzes into to the chair. soft knockdown. Safe bear. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, he needs the chair to not take chip damage normally, yes. right? Yes, that's okay. not normal. So I do remember that. Chip damage the chair. And he's chairless now. A bomber assist. Hornet bomber's really good. If he calls... Oh, he blocked! Okay, I looked at the wrong character. He blocked. This is, this is really bad for... Sanji right now because he wants to just super and beat a big man but double has so much red health and he doesn't want to do that so he could choose to if he baits out the assist he could do it right now he's yeah, going to do it and he could go into oh, he no. could go into car wait, this wait, is wait, really wait. good for Sanji no oh no squiggly blocked no oh. but it's, uh, it's, it's, it's I don't know if he gets a grab he's done he might do uh, yeah. oh, arm arm you could have armed her so it's a free arm yes Damn. he could have armed her that was unbelievable from Sanji okay I'm sorry no oh he gets the air wolf Oh, oh, he dropped it, you salesman! Oh, that is, mm, that is, oh no. You absolute salesman, he's got one, no One sweep, we'll close it, and we're going down to time here. Oh my god! Oh my god. What a sweep. <laughs> that was an anti-air sweep. Unbelievable. That was brilliant. That, that was... Th Alex, literally, you called every action as it was happening. He said, look, one arm would have killed it, a sweep would do it. Yeah. He's going to do it. Big band. I can't believe he that happened, honestly. Damn, sorry, not Big Bang Bear, Wolf players. They got him, <laughs> they got him, though. Yeah. They got him, though. Hopefully, he can w thrive off his win and can continue that momentum yeah, for the next game. He's a bad start here. Both players must be a bit shook after that. Oh. That was a tense moment for both of them. Absolutely. But I think, b because of the way you described Sanji's playstyle, I think he can really capitalize on this now. Sanji thrives in chaos, so it's, it's no big deal for him, really. All right, I think to get a reset into a low, maybe um, it might work. No. He's still got George's day out. He blocks yeah. the bomb. Good he's block. He's always using that um, wow. okay. Block. Nice. He's on two meters. You're going to see Armin to... He could have done PBGC there. As soon as you see that, you're going to see Armin to... Uh, 
Lenny okay. against the uh, big band. It's gonna happen. Okay, gets the grab. Right, George is there, still there, gets oh, the bob, yeah. The bomb he, I don't think he is paying attention to George either. Good sweep. But he doesn't actually be, uh, hit band there. SBO, get to block. There PBGs, it is. yeah, there he was it is. waiting for it. It was too. From Big Tony, that was too obvious. Even I knew that was coming. <laughs> gonna happen with this guy. So oh. Big Bang can do it, he just needs to get a good good solid hit on two characters and super end. Well I mean Crouch Fierce as an assist from Beowulf with Peacock zoning, that's yeah. pretty bad. It's 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 good to open oh, catches uh, him up packing right after that teleport. I don't know why he teleported. He had no reason to teleport and put himself in danger. He, you know what? He deserves to lose this character. Ooh. Yeah. Can I get uh, a conversion? He's yeah. gonna lose Peacock. He actually deserves to lose Peacock. Ooh, he's having to spend a minute. Timphony drive. Alright. Like <gasps> so good. He tried to push for Gokas, but it flopped. Oh! Tiffany. Get it? Very nice. And that's punished. And the corner pickup. Very nice. Do you know that was a really good escape and the pickup? Oh. Good stuff from Big hey. Tony. Oh, very nice here. But you won't be able to continue that combo. You have to see that safety issue coming. Oh, no. have to see it coming with this guy. Tony got a bit too excited there. And he's not dead. He's not dead. Still alive. He can get a grab though. Oh my god, that, that was. He might do an air throw. He that might was, reset to an air throw. That was so oh, wild. Right. He's gonna sweep, man. Yeah, there it there. is. Oh, oh, and don't the do that. Oh. hit BT. He just killed himself. Damn. But sometimes when you play big band, you see the assist, you get you get too excited, and you end up just killing yourself by wailing on the assist too hard. I don't know. It seems both of them, they're like throwing everything in the kitchen sink, and they yeah. forget to defend. So in situations like that, the oh. scrambles. Is Sanji that's winning? Sanji... You see Sanji has the big sweep and he has the big armored assist. Oh, and he's going solo. This is interesting. Right, talk to me. Is this wise? I don't think this is wise. It is. It's an adap adaptation. But if he gets hit once, it's, it's hard because this character, when she doesn't do her stance, she's got nothing. She's got no reversal. She's got daisy pusher, but it's not good. That's, that's why I'm worried. Yeah. If he gets hit... Right, like right there, if it goes into a combo, he should be worried. And here we go, this is uh, this is not easy. I guess the air throw from double into the pickup, and he gets the cross under. I think Big Tony tried to throw, but it missed. He did something. Oh, and he accidentally messes up the combo. He's gonna get. Roy, just, just <laughs> narrowly escaping the George there, just by a toes. Wow, that was oh, a he random. He gets a reset. I, you know, I just think he wasn't blocking. It was a random hard counter hit. Yeah. And Tony knows how to. Double's dead. Yeah, yeah double's gone. Double. Nice. I think, yeah, Sanji's looking at his stick. I don't think he was blocking when he got hit by the jumping hard run. He was complaining a bit more after we were playing casuals on that set today. Okay. I don't know. And this is a good position for Tony. Oh, and this is a very good position. Beneficial. Oh, yeah, of course he's going to go for that. Ooh, Double. He's done. That was beautiful. Oh. That was beautiful. He low profiled the bomb with crouch light kick. That was really nice. He's going to do it again. But is he going to catch Peacock? No. No, it's because it, Sanji's quickly blocking in time. Yeah. That's why he's not getting able to get the snap. That's why. But now, uh, Tony has no meter, which he really needs. It's imperative for Squiggly to have at least one bar for this. She, oh, she really needs it, yeah. Lenny. Oh, the jump light kick is good, though. Hang careful, on, Tony, careful, Tony! Oh, my God! And that was brilliant That stuff. was so good! Oh, he And he's just going to pressure him more, get the charge, almost cost him up. That's going to touch him, yeah. Yep. Gets the grab and the pickup. Oh, no. Okay. Good. Ooh, right. oh, oh, no. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Don't do anything. Okay. okay, good block. Good block. All right. Gonna grab the Sanji's chair. Sanji's going nuts. What a pickup from the chair toss. Yeah, that was brilliant from that. Sanji. Oh. George is still there. Yeah, George is still there. Oh, good, good tech. tech. Oh, another one. But he goes for jump like it this time. And Tony. I trust Tony to kill him right now. He's going to build a bar. He'll be oh, oh, he went cheeky. for the reset. Brazen reset there from oh, Tony. We're going to see some dirty stuff. Just so just some pressure, okay. Yeah. Oh, no. oh, he didn't confirm it. That would have been... Oh, done. I think he's... No, he's not. No meter. There's no meter. He has to reset again. He's going to reset and... Is it going to be another throw? What, what is it going to be? Oh, is that? I think it's a throw. Yeah, it was going to be a throw. It had to be. Tony loves his throw resets. What? Hang on, hang on. Sanji getting desperate here. He's got two bars. I think he should drop a Lenny. Oh. Yeah, I think he... Oh, no, he done Why? Don't do anything. I think he should just drop a Lenny. Oh, he's just going for the... Oh, oh he hit. No, he's dead, he's dead. And then... Oh, no! He could chip. He can chip. Oh, he sink? can chip. Yeah, done. Oh. Chip. Ah! No! Oh. oh, my God! Oh, no! Oh, wow. Tony was about to rage. That oh, was so no! Close. 
Oh, that was... Did you catch that moment? You didn't catch that moment, did you? Did you catch... Oh, that was brilliant. Mate. Yeah, these players, they just... Okay. They go nuts, man. And Look, that was insane. And i got to say, great composure there from Sanji. I actually thought he was done. He went for the chip kill, and it, it worked out in the end. To be honest, I thought he was just going to put down Lenny and just leave it. That's a good idea. But, you know what? He had other ideas, and he yeah. just spent the me on Argus Agony Keck go over the chip. I didn't think... It took off that much chip from Solos. It was smart because Squiggly can't do much about that at long range. Full screen, no bar. Yeah. I mean, and he, he didn't charge um, center stage, so he couldn't bring it towards her. Anyway. Even if he could, it wouldn't help much. <sighs> I don't know. That, that was insane. That was insane. All right, guys, I'm going to jump off commentary and Ravioli right, will jump back on. Commentating with you. Of course, of course. We'll jump back on later, but unlucky to Big Tony. That was actually a shame. That was a sick match, though. How's it going, man? How's it going? How did your match against uh, Sinclair go? So, it was an insanely close 3-2. Um, uh, For who? For me. Oh. I'm in top 8 right now. Oh. It was... I'm very sad it wasn't on stream. Peck told me that he got the last two matches of it, I believe, okay. because of the share function. Uh, the Gelato Tech. Yeah, the Gelato Tech. If he's tech. watching, it's probably not. Thank you, Gelato. Thank you, Gelato. The Gelato Tech. Um, sync. It, it was. It was. It, it's like a your what, typical. What team did you pick? Me. I was playing my normal team. So affiliate okay. beam drill. Uh, she two two owed me. Wow, and, you came back. And I came back like holy crap. Uh, one of my Portuguese friends who doesn't understand anything about the game saw that I was doing really well with Fuku and just turned to me. Dude, just pick football. What the heck? What are you doing? <laughs> That's the Nefros tech. You just say, just stop getting egg red <laughs> and. So I, wins. I picked uh, Fuqua Beat Extend. Uh, okay. Absolutely devastated the first two right. games, very convincingly. And then the third game, it came down to the wire, like super close. She snapped in my big band. I killed Eliza with big band. Then she killed uh, my big Then she killed big band, yeah. And you came back with Fuqua. Fuqua versus double. I missed the conversion that would have killed. Right. And then she got a hit. She missed a super input that would have killed. And then I won. Wow. You stole that game. <laughs> we take those, dude. We take those. She dropped something. I dropped something. And Look, it man. was fair. And, and, like, the whole crowd was screaming. My Portuguese friends were, 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 were screaming obscenities that, yeah. thankfully, nobody understands. You, you hate to go out like that if you're I, um, the loser, but it happens. And yeah. what are you going to do about it, really? I, I also hate winning like that. But at the end, Sinclair played really, really well. And I think I would have been OK with losing to her. Rex, and I, took I out didn't Rex. expect that, and um, and then she lost to Peck. Was it was it three zero or three one? I wasn't paying attention. Uh, sorry, I was, I was just looking up. I think it was three zero. And then uh, yeah. Well, Mr. Peck is one of the favorites to win this tournament. Hey, okay, is we got jammers. Uh, we got Lex against uh, jammers. Uh, jammers. Yeah, let's go. Jammers. So the winner of this fights me in top eight. Okay, so this is a fight for top eight. This is a fight for top eight. Ladies and gentlemen, here we go. I think Jammers could do this. I think Jammers could do this. Oh, it's a button check. All right, gotcha. Oh, it's a button check. Well, so we can talk about this matchup, which is pretty notorious in Europe. So Eliza is supposed to beat uh, Valentine pretty easily with her amazing anti-air normal, which is stand medium punch. Mm -hmm. And Valentine likes to approach from the air a lot. So, And also, Eliza, Eliza can do this amazing uh, anti uh, into uh, a special, which is like a uh, you have someone do a dive kick, a, b a big bird a guy forest. from the very top, the literal top of the screen. You can't even see it, but he comes down all the way, and it's like a really good anti. -air. And you can also use it in in uh, in neutral. Like Valentine loves to be at the top of the screen yeah. throwing shurikens. If you're at the right range. Horus kind of comes at a weird angle, right. and like it can come really unexpected. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, hey. Valentine versus Eliza. Nice respectful round start. Ooh, 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 she got hit. Oh, okay. all right. Low. Oh, I got clipped. Not sure what he was going for there, but got put in the corner. Yeah. All right, here we are. Honestly, I wouldn't. I would just press that medium punch if I was Jamas, and I, I feel like just getting off of this this booth and telling him right now. Oh, don't do I'm that. gonna do it. I'm gonna take my headset off and shout at him. <laughs> oh, please don't do that. Do it. I am. 
uh, green health Valentine here coming at you against the Parasol. Parasol puts Parasol, her in the corner let's go. overhead. And Lex does not have. Oh, he does have a safe DH with three meters. Does he have a burst mode? Uh, oh, just a random hit. And yeah, Lex is kind of notorious for spaghettiing a bit. If you've yeah. ever seen that road tag video. Oh, oh, this is big. Level three. Le oh no, he didn't level. Three. So I was on commentary and Jammers was playing. Both of us were. Both yeah, of us were. and we really wanted him to level three. Yeah, level three there would have led into a double snap, which would have been insanely bad for Lex. Double really helps out his fortune. However, right now he's just running it. Both characters at a pretty much the same bar. Parasol's going to build five meters first. Currently pressure. Oh, no, he gets it. Let's go. Ooh. Oh, uh, the overhead. Good. Uh, actually, Jammer seems to love the the normal uh, command normals. He's just constantly going for them. It's his They're favorite reset. Seems. Pretty nice. And I would level three. There, oh, it, there is, it is, finally. And it's huge. Oh, oh my god. Drops it right away. All right, but conversion from this, this is, this is doable. To a kill. Yeah. This is very doable. You All just right. need a few hits. Oh, oh there's one. Oh, oh level five. No. Oh. oh my god. It Could have maybe pillared there, but uh, you might have got it hit. It would have been. It would have been very tight. He he needed to know it was going to. Jabez. He's, he's, he can't hear you. Jabez. He can't hear you. Jabez. Stop. Stop. Cease. Stand medium punch with Eliza. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. I'm not letting Lex get away with beating Eliza like this. To uh, to any Portuguese viewers that might be watching right now, because I know a few of my Portuguese friends are watching. Right next to me is Mr. Ozzy PT doing casual matches in Guilty Gear. Just a fun fact okay. for all of you right now. I'm Thank sorry. For, for <laughs> and he switched to team order, which is interesting. Uh, that's interesting, actually. I think Eliza versus Valentine's way better, as we were talking about earlier. That was a really weird round start. Stand medium kick and bummer. That's like some duck eater stuff. Oh, that wow. is that disgusting. That is the mix. That is gross. How do you, how do it's you block a, this, son? It's a failed conversion that turns into a mix-up of its own, you know. Yeah. Really, really cool stuff. The Valentine is a very beautiful and fair character. Absolutely. Oh, Ooh, punch no. this. Oh. Let's go. That's what I want to see. <laughs> I okay. love this style on him. Stand medium. Stand medium punch. Ooh. Oh, we could have pressed it there, bro. Just press that. Okay. Press that. Uh, uh, it's so good. I mean... Oh no! Oh, the That's air grab. That's some nephro right, stuff right there. Oh, no. Ooh, misses it. Okay, that conversion is Ooh, pretty messed up. There's the I button. Have. There's the button. Oh, he gets hit. I think. I think uh, Jamis knows. Jamis should just go solo Eliza. I'm calling it. Mm, okay, maybe I don't not. know. Parasol His parasol's did a lot of work. pretty sick. Yeah. Okay. And sh this Eliza is also dead. Uh, parasol can do it. She just needs to. Uh, oh, not do that. She needs to get a nice I level three going. I there forgot. This matchup is supposed to be really bad for Parasol? People have said that in the past, yes. Uh, Huffy, famously. Oh, level uh, three. Oh, we're seeing it. it. It's every character in the game. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, nine, ten, eleven. If we had people in the ten, crowd right now. 11, 12. Oh, that's not every you character. You can count to 12, well done. What? You can count to 12. I'm proud of you. Oh, thank you. Uh, the other day, Sanji was asking me, how, how, how far can you count? And I was like, probably more than 12. Pro yeah, well, you didn't prove that yet, but okay. Uh, probably. Anyways, oh, Jamis on is match point. He really wants to fight me. I think Jamis thinks he's Guile. He, he's playing Street Fighter Five right now. Let's uh, go. Um, cross under? Oh, grab. Ooh, grab. I like that setup. That's what I used to use. On the Ooh. olden days. Oh, oh, no conversion. Oh. That's oh, 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 that no. could have been huge. That could have been two characters yeah. right there. This isn't a lot of damage, this is fine. Yeah. Well, he gets the corner from this, at least. I want him to... Bleh, I was just going to say I want him to pillar more, because you got to make him respect your reversals in this game. Or well, they're just going to wail on you. And, uh, uh, this isn't right. that much damage, honestly. I would be looking at a raw tag right now. Uh, <laughs> the patience. Oh, the patience is unreal. And he All could right. have clipped both of them there. He gets uh, the hit. Unless uh, Lex finishes this off right now, which he looks like he's going to. Yeah, he's going to yeah. kill. But Feral still, edge you, into car. He's working for it now. He's on What's no meter. We've got three meter. Eliza coming up with a devastating level three super if he hits right. both characters. It's it's so much damage. Okay. Jammer's being careful with his block oh. swing. That's a hard counter hit. Does he have the combo to convert? The and famous Eliza. Oh, this is nice. Yes. Oh, nice. Oh, oh he oh, just I thought, oh. I thought there was a reset <gasps> there. But Eliza, just so good. So oppressive when she gets started. Four bars. Lex with bars. one. 
Oh, uh, he's gonna. But the crossed into oh a no. drop. So that happens a lot. Misfortune, sadly. Right, yeah. Feral Edge is horrible. It's a really bad move. Oh, they're both dropping. But one. But Jammers has. Mass, Jammers is gonna mash. Oh, oh no. good yes. burst bait. We saw that Lex last recognizing time. it. Lex, beautiful. So, okay. We saw Bombard fall for that last time. However, now. Lex cannot actually kill he's right now. He needs a reset. Super. Oh, there it was. There it is. The is he gonna do another one? Yes, he is, and that is going to be game. Kill it. Yeah. Very well played from both players. Finger guns. <laughs> okay. Uh, as but, uh, uh, obligation requires. Yeah, I think Jamis so. could have uh, could have taken it if he just oh managed man. to capitalize a bit more you on know, those. You know, it, it would have been... I, I would have liked that because to the people who don't know, Jammers last year at Revel 2017 three owed me. He was my first match. Yeah. I went into losers, won one game, and then met Jammers again, and he three owed me again. He's so been I, he's been busy though. I think he's been playing a lot of uh, Street Fighter Five, and he's been commentating and doing yeah. lots of good work there. Well, so I I, I would have liked the run back. Yeah, I would have liked to test yeah. myself. I think yeah. I think he, he was looking a, a bit more spicy in uh, last year. Last year. Yeah. Well, I, I think I still think he played wonderfully today, for especially uh, Jammers actually like plays on PSN Europe where right. it's absolutely That's dead. No players. I like his patience. I think his patience is great. Well, I, I think he gets patience from other games like Street Fighter and things like that. Yeah. He he is notorious for playing a lot of games. You no, normally you don't see that kind of behavior in a skill girls player. Yeah, they no. usually just we're kind of we're kind of famous for being monkeys, mess, mashing everything, and you know. Oh, I Gregor. And pressing your best button at any moment, all this kind of stuff. But uh, no, yeah. no, he he definitely shows a very interesting thing. And I was talking about this. Oh yeah, you weren't in my Uber. I was talking with this about with Lex, right. where we were talking about high level Eliza play, where Eliza is a character that benefits from being defensive, and so does uh, Parasol. So I think his characters are actually the perfect fit for this. I think Eliza, yeah, she can. Because Eliza can, like, she has really good anti airs and tools to counter the rest of the cast. So, yeah. Eliza's weird, man. Like She, she is a weird character, and she is sort of underplayed. Because at the same time, we couldn't really recognize... Definitely uh, an underplayed character. And yeah. A character that's full potential is not fully realized in... Yeah, a bit, a bit. In Europe, I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to say anything about America, but definitely not in Europe. Like, she has some crazy stuff. She can... Uh, for example, her Sekhmet has hyper armor. She can get conversions from really far. Her buttons are huge. Um, uh, she, she can has. DP and then jump cancel into another DP, and she's completely invincible, and she can she keep has, doing it. She has block strings of, like, 10 overheads. Yeah, and that's she, not even a joke. She has crazy mix-ups, like... But, but the, the trade-off is her defense isn't very good. Yeah, probably... Are we going to get... Is this top 8 ready, or...? I'm not sure. I think there's still one more losers match to go. Uh, yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, please just wait patiently for Revolution 2018 Skullgirls Top 8. Oh, yeah. Do that. Yeah, we've got... Uh, who, who are we sponsored by? PQB? Arc System Works? Remember that, this is, remember that this is <laughs> an Arc Revo event. <laughs> yeah. Um, the winner of BlazBlue, BB Tag, yeah. uh, uh, Central Fiction, I mean BlazBlue Central Fiction, BB Tag, and Guilty Gear Exar Revelator 2nd <laughs> yes. will go to the, will earn points to Arc Tour and get a free trip to Japan, I believe. Is that, is that guy cosplaying as the Persona 4 protagonist? Where? Uh, the guy with the, the, the haircut. Right there, you see the color? Oh my god, maybe, that'd be that's amazing. That's him. Is that you, Narukami? I don't, you? Know, I don't know the, the name, I think it's, it's you, Narukami. Okay. Like, right. you, not as in U Y E W, you as in Y U, the Japanese name, you. You understand? Let's talk about something else for a really. All right. <laughs> uh, do you like football? Uh, it's it's. You mean football or soccer? Let's let's talk about what's <laughs> happened in the tournament. I mean, <laughs> I can see All people right. playing over there. Uh, looks like Bombard and Bombard's still in the tournament. What about Rex? Is Rex still in the tournament? It looks like Bombard against Big Tony right now. Uh, second. I think we're. I think they're going to face off the losers of the top eight. Okay. So, Oh, losers will be off stream. Okay. Okay. So, top eight winners will be on stream, and losers will be off stream probably until either losers finals or wh whenever we have time. I think. So, uh, is Rex still in the tournament? I, I heard I'm he lost. Still not sure. That's what I was asking. 
He's just standing there, so maybe not. Maybe we'll have uh, Rex on commentary with someone else. We'll have to see. Rex and Jamis, probably. Yeah. Because I think Tony is still playing right now, so we're not sure. He's no, definitely no. still playing. Yeah, I Tony, see Tony is still just lost, so he's now in losers for now. I see his palette, yeah. Yeah, Sanji was also in, uh, Sanji was also in uh, winners. Do you want to play Skull Girls? And do you want to do you want to play solo band, big band mirrors? No, no, I was, I was, I'm talking to the, to the audience. <laughs> if you if you haven't played Skull Girls and you want to try it out, just, uh, just go for it, man. Like so it's on sale so so many times, and uh, you might want to get the DLC characters as well. And you can get all of them in a in one big uh, bundle thing on Steam. with second encore. Yeah, and then then you get Beowulf and Big Band, who are the, who are the only characters that matter, by the way. They're seriously not. They're horrible characters. No, don't do that mistake. Uh, what we can do now is uh, take a short break before everyone gets themselves ready. Okay. And then I uh, will start with all the topics. Cool. Perfect. So we're going to take a short break real quick. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed this. I will see you soon. Later. Bye-bye.